This is uh, the nervous system tissues. This is the spinal cord. It's so large that even under low power we won't be able to see all of it. Uh, let's go to the outer coverings of the cord. This outer covering is thick. That's the dura mater. Then underneath that is the thinner arachnoid, looks like cobwebs. Here's the, an arachnoid going down to the surface and right on the surface is the pia mater of the three layers of the dura. If we look at the cord, we can see a difference in the color of the tissue here. This is white matter and consists mostly of fibers, nerve fibers. This slightly eosinophilic or pinkish area is the white matter, consists mostly of nerve cells. Where nerve information comes into the cord is at these dorsal roots. This is the dorsal or back surface of the cord. These are dorsal root nerves. We go to the ventral side of the cord. This is the ventral. Here's the ventral nerve roots. We go back to the white matter again. Uh, here's a portion of white matter and uh, the white matter is separated into the dorsal horn and here's the dorsal horn extending to the dorsal surface of the cord and we can trace it all the way down to the uh, center of the cord and at the center of the cord the dorsal horn on one side will communicate with the other across this commissure and this is the central canal and here's the opposite dorsal horn. We cross back across the commissure central canal. This portion of the gray matter is the ventral horn of the spinal cord.